Hi everyone, welcome to Complete Tech Review and uh, this is a quick unboxing and a small review of the Lenovo A730 tablet. This is a budget tablet uh, which is ranging from 8300 to 8500 depending on from where you order but this one I picked it up from Amazon and I picked it up for uh, 8300 uh, rupees, Indian rupees. So this is a pretty decent tablet and uh, the reason that I like this tablet is for a couple of reasons which I will mention it and uh, before I go ahead and uh, review the tablet let's look at the uh, box contents so this is what the box looks like and if you see there are pretty nice features over here mentioned like a um, few of the applications like share it, Evernote, Skype, um, Office and uh, Norton Mobile Antivirus and also there's this something called as a smart sidebar um, and uh, dual front speakers and Dolby digital speakers uh, so smart sidebar this is something which is more like a multi window which is there and uh, which is usually found in the high-end uh, Samsung phones so basically gives us a quick uh, uh, feature where we can go ahead and pull up all the uh, necessary applications uh, to the left hand side we have the features it's 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor 2 megapixel camera and the front camera is 0.3 megapixel and Wi-Fi enabled Bluetooth uh, 2.0 and uh, you know it's sim card capability where uh, you, you know you can do your regular voice calls um, fairly uh, less in weight 327 grams it is 2g supported not 3g gsm edge and gpr is supported uh, but with the kind of download and upload speed which is offered uh, i do i didn't feel a need for having a 3g connection 4.2 jelly bean out of the box uh, 3500 mh battery this is really a plus point and 8 GB internal storage this is also one of the plus points and the 7 inch screen so let's quickly check out what's there in the box so this is the box content I have already opened this box I'm just reviewing the I had to review this tablet and this is the tablet so let me keep it aside and inside the box you have the warranty statements, the user manual, etc. etc. And uh, the USB to micro USB uh, cable, charging and data sync cable, and the charger. So, just keeping this aside. Now, coming to the physical overview of the handset. So, if you see, I have picked up the white one and here's a 2 MP autofocus camera, Lenovo badging and uh, the Dolby digital uh, sign and here to the left hand side you have the SIM tray as well as the micro SD card it, and this takes uh, up to 32 GB and here's the SIM tray and this is the full size SIM tray at the bottom you have a speaker grill and also at the top the same speaker grill and these are your two main speakers and uh, the sound output is really good and here's at the top we have the proximity sensors and also the 0.3 megapixel camera the Lenovo badging over here and towards the left we have the volume rocker and also the power and end key at the top you have the micro sd micro sd uh, card micro sd port and also the 3.5 mm jack so if you have noticed uh, we don't have this the earphones so uh, that's not given in the in, in the box so you have to purchase a new one so just let's uh, go ahead and uh, quickly do the overview and if you see a pretty nice lock screen uh, basically 4.2 jelly bean and 
you can see that this is the sidebar that I was talking about so basically once when you pull out uh, your thumb or once when you push the side screen and come to the center you get the side uh, bar and here you can keep your favorite applications uh, and uh, basically this is like a quick uh, window where you can go ahead and pick up all your recent applications and if you see there's uh, no lag at all and the transition and uh, between screens also is very quick um, basically it, it comes with pretty neat and handy uh, applications and uh, as I said this is a calling tablet uh, and the best thing about this is the internet speed uh, you have 21 mbps um, hsdps speed and uh, basically the youtube videos don't buffer in this and uh, you know even with 2g internet connectivity or internet connection uh, basically you can go ahead and do uh, most of the things that you uh, rely on from a 3G network and at the top uh, these are the quick notification uh, panels or toggles just clearing all these things and uh, let's go ahead and your notification tray basically has the Dolby Digital um, option over here your uh, cast screen where you can share screens with other devices and uh, your 4.2 jelly bean operating system layout basically and uh, if you see this this data connection toggle and uh, it also has a gprs a gprs built-in wireless lan let's go to the settings and see what operating system that we are on so if you see 4.4.2 operating system and uh, recommendation is first go ahead whenever you pick this tablet go ahead and do the system update uh, and uh, make sure that you have the most current uh, software or s current firmware update uh, which comes from Lenovo and uh, from a storage perspective as I mentioned it comes with 8 GB and uh, out of which out of which you know we have around 5.5 GB which is given to the users and the rest is uh, for applications so if you see almost 2.28 GB is for applications and the rest is for the users I have included a micro SD card and expanded the memory and one more feature that I would like to show you is the OTG piece of support here's the OTG OTG cable and this is something which I already picked it up and I have a USB I'm sorry a pen drive so let's see whether this recognizes OTG support I've connected the o OTG cable and if you see yes it does support OTG on the move and uh, this is the external storage uh, uh, you know this is the pen drive and the external storage where you can move applications between one application uh, sorry between one storage device to another storage and this is really handy and uh, you know gives us um, great flexibility from moving files from you know from your laptop to your tablet and makes perfect sense so let me disconnect this and I would also show you one more feature uh, where I would be connecting the uh, with the help of the OTG cable I'll be connecting the wireless keyboard so just a quick uh, review so that we can have total uh, you know wireless keyboard functionality and the rest all is your your Android uh, Jelly Bean uh, uh, features you have the play store built in you have share it basically you can share your uh, system with uh, other uh, devices and uh, 
overall i would say this is a great device at the moment if you see the battery a charge or endurance is showing that it can be uh, running for 46 hours and 9 minutes so a really very good battery backup which is 3500 mAh and uh, 2G calling support the voice clarity is really good the sound is really good I can quickly show you one video Give me a second, let me quickly show you a video. You can see the sound clarity is really awesome. So this was a quick video, I hope uh, you liked it and uh, let me know any feedback about this tablet and uh, this is Kevin signing out, thank you so much for your time, bye bye.